Praise God, it's a prayer journey, traveling throughout the India for the praying and sharing the love of the Jesus Christ. So today I start my journey from Udapur to the Katra. So nearly 37, 38 kilometers today I want to pedal my cycle. So it's a morning time and right now I start my journey from Udapur. Let's see if we can pray for Udapur. It's a place from the Jammu area. So right now I start my journey from here. So moving to the Katra. I thank to the God and praising God. Praise God. Pray for these people. They see how they're staying in the tents and everything. Pray for other people, for their protections and everything. So I saw a milestone in here. Delhi is 637 kilometers and Jammu 77 kilometers. And there you can see some of the homes of here in Udrapur. You can pray for these people, Udrapur. So some people are staying in there. So the majority of the population is Hindu in these places. We can pray for their life, for their blessings and everything. You can see a lot of homes in the tops of the hills. You can pray for their blessings and the spiritual blessings for their life. There are a lot of families are there. A lot of people are staying in their lives and everything. We can pray for their salvation, pray for the spiritual life, praying for everything. So our prayer can change their life. Our prayer can change their situation. We don't know what's the problem and what are the struggles they are facing in their life. See how many homes are there. We can pray for those people, for their lives and everything. It's a good opportunity God is giving to us to pray for these people. So I am praying for these people because God loves everyone. We want to love everyone. We want to pray for every people. I am praying for these people. Place called CL Salam. We can pray for this place right now. I'm crossing on the highway right now. I'm pedaling my cycle. So a little bit of ups are there today waiting for me. So I want to pedal the cycle. Praise God. <laughs> So right now I'm in the highway valley. I want to give some of the key points about this uh, Udapur because Udapur is in the Jammu and the Kashmir. When you pray for this Jammu and Kashmir, you want to remember the place of the Udapur because yesterday night I was in the Udapur valley. Udarpur is a city of a municipality council in the Udaipur district. It is a district in the Indian unit territories of the Jammu and the Kashmir. It is named after the Raja Uda Singh and it is the headquarters of Udarpur district. And um, the city served as a district's capital and the northern commandment headquarters of the Indian army. And Udaipur is used for um, uh, used by the army force at the transit point between the Jammu and the Kashmir when traveling by the roads of the uh, National Highway 1A, which has been seen renamed as the National Highway is 44. The district have a headquarters in the town of the Udaipur early. So the population is more than 13 lakhs people are staying inside the districts of the Udaipur. So inside of the capital, you can see more than 1 lakh people are staying inside of the capital of the Udaipur. So the the percentage of these people more are the Hinduism inside or living inside the Udaipur. So we want to pray because God loves everyone. That's the Bible says John 3.16. God loves all the world. So he gives his only one begotten son for us to not to perish to have an everlasting life. These people, these Udaipur people want to come to the Jesus Christ. They want to save. They want to change their life. So when you take the responsibility, when you pray for these people, God can change the people's situations. I don't know what are the problems and what are the struggles and what are the situation right now they are facing in their lives and everything. But we have an opportunity to pray for the people. For the prayer, we, now, we, want, we are going to talk with the God early. So God is going to hear our prayers and everything. We want to see the spiritual awakening in these places. We want to see the spiritual blessings in the places. We want to see the people life should be changed. Who was addicted for the drugs, the alcohol, illegal. And we don't know how many families there was broken inside of this Udapur. Let's pray for this family. Pray for the people. Pray for everyone. So God is giving a good opportunity for it. Pray for this Udarpur. So when you pray, we can see the great changes in this Udarpur. So God gave me a bad hand and yesterday I was being sure to stay in the places. If God put me here, there's a purpose. I believe that. So God's coming days, we are going to see some of the changes in these places and everything. So we can pray for the pastors, the believers inside of this Udarpur. There's a meaning less to among people only and the pastors and the churches was being sure. Are. So anyway, let's we can pray because God loves everyone. The love of the God wants to change and transformation of the lives of the peoples and everything. Really such a beautiful day for me. I'm starting my journey today. I'm moving to the Katra. So nearly, I want to climb ups and down. Today the roads are waiting for me. And the climate is also too much of sunny and it's too hot climate. So I want to face the climates. I want to face all the terrains. And I want to face all the places wherever I want to travel. I was traveling. God wants to strengthen me in this climate to travel these places. And praying for the people and everything. So my journey is moving to the Katra. Los.
प्लीज वॉच दिस वीडियो एंड प्रे फॉर द पीपल प्रे इज गैड Morning itself it start to the traffic 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 is a big challenge Right right now I am in the highway you can see the board in here Katra today wants to go it's nearly 46 km right now wow it's too it's challenge for me because 46 km is a plane or up i don't know but i wants to go so right now i'm crossing the place called batal you can see the board in here this is a place and you can see some of the shops in here some of the few homes are there and most of the shop is closed because the morning time so anyway we can pray for this batal for this place for the salvation So right now I'm crossing the place called Malhar. We can pray for this place. So it's true up. So I want to pull my cycle. I'm pulling my cycle on the highway. Highway is really beautiful. The roads are really beautiful. So right now I'm pulling my cycle to the Alps. So a lot of energy needed, and the climate's really hot and humidity. So I'm getting tired also, dehydration also. Feeling so tired today because more than 48 kilometers today I want to pedal my cycle. But if the hill is really, there is a toughest journey for me. But keep going on. Wow, there is no other option for me. This is the only way to pull my cycle, pulling my cycle to the ups of the area. It's difficult, but I want to do the ministry of the God. So, like how to carry the cross of the Jesus, like this way. So, really, my today's journey is horrible. Really, I'm suffering a lot due to the heavy climate, the hot climate, and the climate is too hey, hot. Really, I'm suffering a lot. So, I think nearly 20 kilometers that to reach my today's destination. So, anyway, I thank to the God in this climate. Also, God brought me in these places to pray for these people. So, 20 kilometers remaining to reach my today's destination. Just I'm sitting near you. Under the tree, too hot. So today also I made a good another brother. I will share the story with you. So really, I was really tired. So what I do, I saw a shop, hotel to go and eat. So I had a chapati and the dal fry. So when I finish everything, so I went to the counter to pay the bill, and he told that it's free for you. Go. See how God is doing a such a wonderful thing in my journey. How can I forget my God? He is such loving me, and He was providing and giving such a good people on the way. So my journey is going to finish today. Some more kilometers there to reach my destination, but I am really tired. Praise God! It's a big challenge. Today I think more than 30, 35 kilometers I was pulling the cycle to the up because today is totally up for me. Just few kilometers only down, but today is really toughest for me. Wow, my God, my God! So finally, I'm going to reach my today's destination, Katra. Starting my journey. Really, today is a real challenge for me because lots of ups are there. I rode my cycle more than 40 kilometers today. Really, such a hard journey for me. But I thank to the God, going to reach my today's destination. So all the hills I climbed. So one day or one day I'm going to see the awakening wherever I traveled. Praise God. Pray for these places and everything. So I have no strength to talk that much of tired. So anyway, pray that God will change the good things from here. So, so I want to share one thing with you. So on the way I meet some of the guys and they give some juice for me. It's in my hand. You can see right now. So it's an ORS 